Welcome to Look What I Got. I'm so excited. We're doing gluten-free donuts today. Head-to-head -head battle. It's a battle between Knickknick and Cats. And we're gonna see who comes out on top. We're gonna try two different chocolate gluten-free donuts. Now, right off the bat, look at the size difference. This is the Knickknick and this is the Cats. The other thing I wanted to know, it looks like they're just chocolate dipped. dipped yeah. Which is really deceiving because they're fully they're coated. Fully coated as is the Knickknick. Now, I'm just gonna take my two halves because I want them to see. See what's going on here. So on my right hand is the Knickknick and on the left is the Cats. Knickknick first, here we go. Mmm. Crumbly, and it's a good crumbly. It's a good cake donut. Mm -hmm. Very chocolatey. It's got like a little spice to it too. You know like they put in those like cake donuts you would get at the store when you were a kid? Mm -hmm. It does remind me of that. And yeah. it's a, it's, I don't want to call it cinnamon, but it's like a little chocolatey spice. Mm -hmm. Maybe the wrong word, but I think it's pretty good. Hang on, we got to clean our palate here. Okay, next we're going to try the cats. Let's see how this goes here. Mm. Very cakey, very nice. Boy. This is tough. They're both really good. Let's figure out right now who won this round. I think Cats, for me, had a better kind of a cake part of the donut. Mm -hmm. This was more like a real donut, like that you'd get at a store, the cakey kind of donut. Right. Where this was more like a snack donut. They were both great. Mm. However, I really liked the Cats better. Just overall, I liked the taste better, I liked the texture better. It reminded me of if I went to a donut shop and wanted a cake donut. And I feel like you're getting more bang for your buck, kept being bigger. And less sugar. I love that both of these companies made a donut for people who can't have gluten. I'm always worried about eating gluten free. As you know, we've talked about this many times. Either one is certainly an option. And we may be leaning towards the cats as a winner, but I truly think you would be happy with either one. Mm -hmm. So keeping with our battle here today, we're going head to head with the cinnamon donut. Knickknick cinnamon. Kind of hard and stiff. It's like... Meaty. Meaty. Not what I would think for a donut. The overall donut flavor, a little kind of thick. Yeah. I it missed the mark. Like, without even trying the other one, it missed the mark. Oh, I, I, I totally agree. I'm ready to, to swish. Okay, next we're gonna try the cats. Feels a light, gentle donut. Light, yeah, very light. Mmm, you don't like it? It's just okay. I'm not a cinnamon donut girl. Yeah. I'm a chocolate donut girl. Mm -hmm. But. I actually think this one's really good. It um, tastes like a donut from the donut shop, if you buy the cake kind. It's still a little thicker than most donuts. It's softer than the uh, Knickknick. This texture is even lighter than the chocolate donut. It's airy. I actually really like it. I'm not, I guess I'm not going to the store to buy cinnamon donuts. I'm not going to the store to buy cinnamon donuts either. But if I had to, it would be cats hands down. I wasn't in love with either, to be honest. I guess I would lean more towards the cats if I had to lean my meter either way. There you are. Today we tried gluten-free donuts and we went head to head with two of the top gluten-free donut makers in the country, in North America, to be quite honest. And both came out okay. Uh, Kid Nick or Nick got a little bit more beat up when it came to the uh, cinnamon sugar. Let us know what you think. Like, follow, share, subscribe. Be fans. Keep a clean palate. Cleanse your palate.